so guys in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to set up your mixer for mixing in fl studio of course you know that after making your beats cooking your beats taking time to do this do that do this do that at the end of the day you will need to come back to the mixer to start mixing your beats because if you don't mix your beats <laughs> you already know what that is okay so that point where you need to start adding spices you know just like somebody is cooking and the person is adding seasoning right to the soup yeah so this is a point where you need to start mixing your beats okay but then before you mix the beats there are certain things that need to be done okay there are certain things you need to do to make sure that uh and to, just to ensure that you have good mixing or you get to prepare yourself for good mixing at the end of the day all right so guys i'm going to be putting you through those processes okay but then i don't want to make this a single video i will try as much as i can to to make it two videos and if i see that it is getting too long i can even make it three videos meaning that we may have part one part two and part three all right okay so guys let's dive into the pc and let's get that started right away okay so here we are this is a project. I just wanted to quickly listen to this. Now, if you notice something, this has not been assigned to the mixer yet. Okay. You see, you can still see that, okay, do you still have empty channels, except this guy that I've assigned to channel 12, these two guys here, and this guy that I've assigned to channel 14. Apart from that, no other thing is, in, is on any channel yet. Okay. So um, let's assume this is your project. So listen to this. Now, let's assume this is the beat and you need to start mixing. If you look at my mixer channel here, apart from this guy I, I showed you, there's nothing on this nine, apart from this 12 and 14. So you can see, everything is coming out on the master channel. And if you notice something, of course, this is getting out of hand here. Well, that is, for another day, okay? Training for mixing. Okay, so let's leave that. So training for mixing, that's when I will show you guys all of this. Okay, but what I just want to, what I just want to show you is how to bring your things to the, excuse me, how to bring your stuff to the mixer, okay? All right, so I want to bring this, assign this guy to the mixer. There are different ways you could get to do this, okay? I can actually select this guy up to this guy here. That's you select this, then it will shift down and keep selecting them one after the other, or just select and drag. So I can select all of these and come to the mixer. And when I get to the mixer, I could say, now I have how many things selected right now? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have twelve things selected, which means that if I should come here and right click on channel one or insert one, and I say and I go to channel routing, because what you are simply doing is channel routing. You are about to route something into the mixer for mixing. If I come to the channel routing and I say route selected channels starting from this track what will definitely happen is that this guy is going to route all of this starting from track one starting from insert one up to insert 12 meaning that this guy you are looking at here this ksa for audio file here is going to enter this 12 it's going to enter 12 this 12 here let me just do this for doing sake so that you will see what i'm talking about Okay, now if I do this, look at that. So this have entered this, this has entered. So if you check this out, if you come here, you'll see that all these have been assigned to channels from channel one to channel 12. Now this guy has joined them. Initially, it was just these two that were on channel 12. You see that now. But because I did this, this guy has joined them now. If I go back to this mixer and play, you will see that the mixer has been assigned or things have been assigned to the mixer channel. Yes. 
so you can see that but then that is not what i want to do okay that is one of the ways that is if you have not had anything yet inserted into the mixer channel you can actually get to do this automatically of course you can see it's assigned them to the channels with the names so you don't need to rename anything this is actually a quick way to assign your stuff that means that anytime you bring anything into the channel rack you actually have to name them that way when you are assigning them to the channel to the mixer channel you will not need to start renaming anything again automatically to come with the names do you see that now that is one of the ways but then that is not what i want to do now one thing about fs studio is that assigning to mixer channel i don't think you can undo yet uh no nothing is happening yet so you cannot undo anything this concerning routing to mixer channel you cannot so well, i don't know if there is a way to do that probably i will find that out soon to the best of my knowledge right now i don't know a way to do that yet okay then i'm closing this i don't want to save this because i want to show you how to route the other way into the mixer channel okay so that's the first way to get to route into the mixer channel so let's go back to our project again <coughs> excuse me let's go back to our project fl studio let's go back to the beats again um okay it's loading up okay so we have this guy loaded up again okay so that's one way i hope you've noted that so the second way you can get to assign to the mixer channel is actually by just seeing okay if you don't want this guy to overlap or this guy to enter the 12 you could just select it from this uh, from whatever channel you want to select and make sure that you don't select the one that will fall into that channel but then we are not talking about that again now so the next way you can get to route into the mixer channel is getting to route each of the trade each of the sample um file or each of the plugins separately independently one after the other to the mixer channel okay 